Hello folks and welcome to a wise game video. In today's video we're going to be looking at the Burning Crusade beta. In today's video we're just going to go over a few updates that they've done. They're pretty big updates. And then also where to get the add-ons. Now for the updates. The biggest one is that they actually opened it up now where you can level all the way to the cap level of 70. And then they also introduced Eye of the Storm, the Battleground, along with Heroic Dungeons and Arena Skirmishes. But please note that Ranked Rated PvP is disabled for testing at this time. Now, when it comes to betas, we know that they change day by day, week by week, because the beta version is when they slowly add different additions to the game over time. So the date that I'm making this video is April 9th, 2021. Which is now going to bring us to the main topic. Is that they now introduced where you could use third party add-ons now in the beta. And if you are wondering where to get these add-ons if you have a beta invite. We're going to show you that next. Now, normally for World of Warcraft games, we've been using Curse Forge Wolf. It's the desktop app for most of our add-ons for Classic WoW and Shadowlands. But then once I found out that they made it now where you can use add-ons now in the beta version of the Burning Crusade, I went there to see if they had add-ons yet. And they only had like about one or two that actually showed up. And they were add-ons that I never really heard of before. So at this time, it's not really the place to go if you want to use these add-ons. This can change though, over time. So then, where do we go to get these add-ons for the beta? Actually, it's Curse Forge, their website. Not the app, but the website. The website has quite a few of them. Actually, like four or five pages worth. So that's why I'm guessing eventually it's probably going to be added to the app also. I will supply the link to this website in the description panel of the video. Once here, we want to, of course, click on World of Warcraft. It says Shadowlands there, but they have all the versions. Classic, The Burning Crusade, and Shadowlands. Now on the top where we see all versions, you're going to want to click on that. And then in there, they're going to have all the different versions of the game. And we can see in the list they do have the Burning Crusade, classic. And they also have 2.5.1. 2.5.1 is the version right now for beta. And again, this can change as the beta progresses. And so I'm going to click on that one, 2.5.1, and then it's going to automatically populate the list for the Burning Crusade. And then we're going to pick, uh, oh, I'd say Details. Details is a popular add-on. That's a damage meter that a lot of players use. And they even have another link posted here. I guess that that takes you to another version or something like that. But what I normally do is go to the top where it says files. And where it says files, it's going to have all the versions for all the games. You know, for all the World of Warcraft games that this add-on is available for usually. So, in, in, in the list right on the top, we see that they do have the one for the Burning Crusade beta. And even the one on the very top looks like it's made for this also. Now... When I used to play other betas in the past, even when I played Shadowlands, which was very recent, the add-ons did have to say beta next to them for them to work. But, like I said, streamers and other players I know are using add-ons right now, and they're working. And this is the only options that we have, so I'm sure that these should work for you also in the beta version. I don't have beta at this time, so I can't test a lot of this stuff. Which is one small reason why I haven't come out with a video in a while. Now something else I look at too is how long ago it was uploaded. And you want to get the newest one in my opinion. So we could see that the newest one here was uploaded three hours ago. So that's very recent. 
So the one on the very top is the one you would want to get because we can see that there's other versions mixed in here too. Like the second one is 9.0.1, which is Shadowlands. So that's why always click on the files. And then next we have DBM, which is Deadly Boss Mods. And this is a very popular add-on also that we've been using throughout the years. So we could see again, uh, I'm going to click on files and we're going to see all the files in the list. And they definitely do have the Burner Crusade. And again, we could see the game version right up on the top. If you look over to the right, you're going to see under actions, a download and it looks like an anvil. That's actually like an application. I think that that's actually going to send you over to get the original, the Curse Forge Wolf app. Again, I haven't experimented with it because I don't have the beta at this time. So if somebody does try this, let us know in the comments section below. Thanks. The last time I used this website, I had to manually put the add-ons. I had to download them to my desktop and then manually put them in the game folders. So that's why I'm curious. There is one other piece of news I actually want to pass along, you guys. I almost forgot. I just wanted players to know that does have the beta, or if you do get the invite, that they're going to be doing this testing when it comes to the raids in the game. Which is going to involve these three raids, uh, the first one starting on April 13th, and then the last one ending on April 15th. So I'd be expecting more invites coming your way too. Uh, because as we're reading right here, it says uh, testing will take place on a new beta realm. Okay, that they're actually going to have level 70 template characters enabled. So you don't have to level all the way up if you want to partake in this testing. And so that's about a wrap right there, guys. I just wanted the player base to know if you do get a beta invite, what to expect now. Some of the big features that's going on. And that now you could also use add-ons in the beta. And now you know where to get them. And on that note, I thank you for stopping by and watching Wise Gamer. Feel free to sub up for more videos coming your way, and it helps the channel grow. Comment down below because as always, we love to hear from you. And until the next time, you guys have yourself a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.